Hey, greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA San Andreas video. After the Catalina missions, CJ bought an apartment in Blueberry. There's the wrecked car that I used to get here. And, hey, there's that liquor store. Sweet memories of Catalina that, you know, those hillbillies robbed before Catalina and CJ could rob. And uh, they had to chase after them on uh, quad bikes. Well, I'm going to jack a car and uh, keep talking over this until I can get the radio turned off because YouTube's rules are you can't have copyright protected stuff playing in the background even if it's in video games which I kind of don't understand because in my GTA 5 videos I did have the uh, background playing and I'm gonna get CJ back up to Catalina's old cabin and this is a nice thing in the game actually if you're out in the Badlands and you need a save and you need a car well it's Catalina's old uh, cabin in the woods where you can actually get a buffalo, which is a pretty fast car. And if you're going to do Sage, Cesar, Cesar's missions, which are racing missions, and you need to pass those missions in order to get to the next level of the game, this free buffalo is a great free car that you can race. Now, I'm going to drive CJ over to the race missions in this Buffalo. They start during the day, so, yeah, and first turn off the radio. But, again, I'm going to drive CJ over to the race mission. And, again, these race missions, you need to pass in order to move on in the game, which kind of sucks, but in this mission, you meet an important character when you end up going to San Fierro, and he's an important contact that you meet with this first mission. So I'm going to let the mission play through now that the radio is off. Where is this guy? Hey, I've been waiting forever, man. Where the hell you been? Sorry, Holmes. I had no idea when the race would be. Right. You just happened to show up five minutes after everybody else, huh? When the gasoline runs through your vein like the burning passion, you know when it's time to race. I think you're getting high on that country air, man. Hey, CJ, look. You haven't been to one of our meets before. Where are you from, friend? I'm from Grove Street Family. Los Santos. What's happening? Relax. This isn't a parade, pal. But you know, we gotta be careful. Wootsy Moon. But my friends call me Wootsy. How you doing? CJ. Carl Johnson. Listen, out here we like to race for cash or pink slips. Race of choice. Get your car started. We're about to go. Good luck, Carl Johnson. Something real strange about that dude. Be careful, CJ. For sure. Okay, like all race missions, um, you really just got to get out ahead and, and in front of the other cars in order to win. Now, Wu Woozy Moo is uh, blind. Yeah, he's racing and he is blind. So, yep. You got to keep fighting with these cars. You got to kind of feather the control and give it gas. But again, once you get ahead of people, then you can start really pulling forward. Um, you can be a little aggressive here. And you want to take some shortcuts if you can. And cut across uh, grass and not stick to the actual course. And, yeah, things get a little wobbly 
here and uh, get that guy to kind of get off the bridge. They're all pretty fierce competition. And one of the things, like I said, this is actually the second time I did the race. And I'm going to show you what happens. I think the radio is now off, so I'm going to stop talking and let the race continue through here. Okay, in my attempt to uh, get ahead, I rolled the car, and now it's on fire. There's no way I'm going to finish this race. I'm disqualified. Great part about GTA San Andreas, unlike GTA 4, when you restart the mission at the next checkpoint, you actually start with everything you've had, i.e. guns, armor, etc. Now, I'm going to restart this race and I'm going to play it a little more smart. I'm going to keep talking again once I can get the radio turned off here. You got to keep fighting, and in this case, you want to get ahead and try and stay ahead, and you can kind of pass the guys better at the curve than, there you go, the guy goes screeching off and out of control. He knocks you out of control. But now, you gotta just got to stick with the pack here. And again, in order to get ahead of them, you kind of got to pass them on the dirt areas, get them out of control, and take shortcuts like this. Boom. You can, yep, this guy goes crazy and out of control. Now that I'm ahead, I'm just going to try and stay ahead and feather the controls throughout the race and keep my car under control and the way yep run over that person don't need them the way to best do it is to slow down when you get to a turn feather the controls and then hammer the gas knock these people out and cut across anything you can remember the shortest distance between two points is a straight line and this ain't it but again keep it in a straight line and there this guy got ahead of me bumped me into a fence here that guy tried to spin me out but yeah you got to keep fighting for first place here and i'm getting near the area where i wiped out someone up be a little more cautious, but I'm jumping through fields and right here, slowing down, take this curve and now give it gas. Don't follow the path. Try and be a, as straight a line as possible. And this guy, he's slightly ahead of me. Not a problem. And I think I can overtake him. Yeah, right here. Boom. He got off the course. Now, again, keep feathering and keep things in control. Almost wiped out there. But, yeah. Okay, up in control. Now, I'm just going to take it easy and get through the race here. Up this path. And now I see a cop chasing a car. Uh, yeah, this sucks. But, again, you got to kind of keep things in control. And I'm going to let this play out.
You drive with style, Carl Johnson. And I never mind losing to a guy who's willing to push himself right to the edge. As for me, I'm a man who honors his bet. Well, you learn pretty fast with the police on your ass. Listen, it's best if we clear the hell out of here as soon as possible, because for some reason, the local police don't appreciate our noble sport. Yeah, thanks for the advice. Okay, I gotta go. Uh, you know what? If you ever find yourself in San Fierro, give me a call. Maybe we can do a little business together. Yeah, I might just do that. I guess that's our wake-up call. Nice meeting you. Mission passed, and in only two tries. Uh, usually the race missions take me more than a few tries. Like, three, four. Um, that Cesar, I, you know, the CV, this would be where the next mission you could have pulled in and played. But the next mission, and I'll show you on the map here, right there is where Cesar is. And Blueberry is over here, so guess I gotta drive over there to save. There's Catalina's place where you can get the free buffalo. Nowhere on here is any other missions. So you gotta get Cesar's missions complete before other missions launch, which, again, racing missions I'm not that good at. And. I'm going to get CJ back to the apartment so where he can save. Um, I'll do the next Cesar mission in another video. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I don't want to jump. Yep, okay, I'm missing that. But I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. You know, as always, ooh, this is going to be, nope. well, as always, thanks for stopping by. Holy cow, that guy almost tried to run over CJ. A uh, little bonus footage for you here. I'm Brad, again. Proprietor of Barstool Entertainment saying thanks for stopping by.